Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here just before 1 o'clock in Honolulu, 7 o'clock in New York. It is Thursday, 10th day of September 2020, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. An interesting reversal in the precious metals with both gold and silver trading higher in the evening session overseas into New York in the morning, and then we had a reversal as the dollar went from weakness to strength. We'll talk about that when we look at our pricing, and we'll also look at the big picture when we look at our technical studies to look at major areas of support and resistance. But first, let's take a look at closing prices today. An interesting reversal in the precious metals markets, which were trading higher overseas last night and in the morning session here in New York. In fact, December gold futures traded to a high of $1,975.20 before retreating. Currently, we have December gold unchanged at $1,954.90. Low on the day was $1,948.60. Silver sustained a drawdown of about 1.25%, 2486 putting it down about 32 cents on the day. And as I said, it was that reversal in the U.S. dollar, which was weaker last night and in the morning, but then gained strength, currently up about a tenth of a percent at 93.37. On today's show, I want to take a different look than we have been in the past and really focus upon the big picture and where we believe major support for gold currently resides. We're looking at a daily chart, and what is evident is that ever since we hit the top here, 2088, we then had a fall from grace in which we traded to a low of approximately 1875. We have, in essence, been range-bound. The top of the market that we can define is at approximately... 2000 with some exceptions and the bottom or support area comes in roughly at $1920 and what is most interesting to me when we look at this sideways market is how the former level of major resistance in other words the record high back in 2011 I believe now has become support now you can't see it that easily when we look at this daily chart but once I convert the daily chart into a bi-weekly chart, what we've done is simply compress the chart so that each candle equals two weeks. This is the former all-time record high sitting at around $1,920, $1,919. If we follow that through, and that is what this black line is, it clearly demonstrates that over the last six weeks, we have had lows that have kind of gone slightly into that area, what we can say is former resistance, which is absolutely at 1920, has now become support, and I believe very strong support. And what really becomes evident when we convert our two-week candlestick chart into a weekly chart is when we look at the lows that came in over the last four weeks, we can see that we have roughly a flat bottom or a series of lows that are equal. This would be a candlestick pattern simply called a tower bottom. However, at the same time, we have seen a steep decline in the highs with a series of lower highs almost consecutively week in and week out. And that means that the pattern we are looking at is simply called a flat bottom and a descending top. Which takes us to the final chart that we will look at today. This is still a two-week chart of gold futures, the continuous contract. We still are looking at the former top becoming an area of support rather than resistance, and that is right here. But we have also added a Fibonacci extension, looking at this long third wave, this correction down to 1057. This, of course, is a multi-year study, and the fact that we are now in a final fifth wave. The 0.618% retracement comes in at roughly 2094. That is extremely close to the actual highs that we saw recently when the market traded to 2088. 
Could that be the top of the market? Well, it very well could be. I personally don't believe that to be the case, but I believe that this is where we have major resistance in the market, just below 2100. The other thing that is noteworthy is if gold is able to continue to push higher and break through this price point, we really begin to have no resistance up until that next key level, which is $2,200 per ounce. Again, this is a very long-term look at the market, but the fact that the former level of resistance is now support, we do have a solid level that we can earmark as support. I believe we have a solid level that we can earmark as resistant, the recent highs, and we have a game plan regardless of what the market does. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.